All right, so this is Robert Forsch with The Truth about everything. If you Google my name, I would say guaranteed to blow your mind. I've got powerful content from talented creators from all over this world and uh, lifetime of research. There's no way I could compile what I've put together without a lot of help. And I, I believe help from the Almighty, the true living creator. So it's August 11th, 2023. Lots happened over the last three years. Going on four years. Many of us have tried to warn individuals of the battle that we're in and the, and the weapons of war that are being implemented on humanity. And I've got a research library exposing the truth about all that. Currently, I'm no longer allowed on Twitter. Uh, apparently, it's permanent. Well, why would that be? I thought it was supposed to be the free speech platform. And so, a lot of people in the truth movement don't care much for Elon Musk. I'm exposing the truth about him, too, as things are revealed about the origin of his companies and and uh, the disinformation that's surrounding him and his enterprises. You can see content related to that. So then one of the other things is I've used the Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars document to be my landing video where I'm exposing the truth about everything. And there are hyperlinks loaded in the comment thread to elaborate on much of what I can't talk about here and obviously not on Twitter anymore. I had tweeted my research library thousands of times to world leaders, the, the billionaires, trillionaires, the wealthy rulers of this world. And I'm exposing the truth about all that. The military, medical, financial, industrial, and informational complexes. All of it. It's a perfect storm of deception. So are you concerned about artificial intelligence, so-called? I would be. Um, more important than that, though, I, I would be concerned about the the truth about everything that really matters. One of the big questions is where will you spend forever and why? And how will you be able to determine the truth when it's right in front of you? And that's one of the challenges. I actually have friends and family all over this world that have shared information with me that has changed the lives of many that I've been in contact with. So a lot of times people will say, well, how many subscribers do you have? Uh, somewhere around 4,700 4, and some. However, I've been followed by the architects of artificial intelligence, robotics, machine learning, quantum computer systems. Why would that be? Well, I believe it's because I just wanted to know the truth about all of this. Now, this is a sea level liquid mirror. We've got a photo shoot going on right here in front of us. People reflect off of the wet sand. They reflect on their past, present, future, hopes, dreams, fears. We've got plenty of all that, a range of emotion that's brought on by our trying to reconcile what we see with what we're told and, and there's a disconnect. We're being lied to on epic proportions. So the internet 
and the um, personal computers that we bring with us, many of us where we go. Our smartphones, our personal mobile computers that give us worldwide access to the information all around the world and give us the ability to share that as well. So I've got thousands of content creators on my, in my research library on a variety of platforms where I am as well. That's why I encourage people to Google my name and I would go so far as to say guaranteed to blow your mind. Good morning. So in 2019, before the pandemic, as, as the official narrative was, we had over 20 million guests come to the Grand Strand of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. This is the north end of that in Cherry Grove in front of the Prince Resort where I've met people from all over the world here. Some working for the alphabet agencies, of course, having non-disclosure agreements. And, um, and then I've been threatened, intimidated by those claiming to be with the NSA, no such agency, or National Security Agency. We've got issues of so-called uh, national security that are hidden from the general public. We've got black budget projects that many even in the, if you're not read into it, you're not going to very likely know about it. These are unacknowledged projects. And then we got a glimpse into some of what has been going on uh, for a while with Operation Paperclip and High, Operation High Jump and uh, and there's so many more. MK Ultra targeted individuals, the manipulation of the of humanity with high powered technology that very few are aware of how far reaching that actually goes into direct influence of our brains. One of the other realities too is that there's uh, contamination of our food, water, the air we breathe, and the information stream that's presenting itself as facts and reality when in fact it's actually extremely deceptive. So yes, I'm still spitting out whatever the mucous membrane is trapping. It's like an internal uh, glove on my lungs and sinuses that will trap some of the nanoparticles and I'll spit them out rather than swallowing them and having them integrated into my uh, body. Uh, when, when the particulate hits the hydrochloric acid in the body, it, it self-assembles technology. If, if what they're saying is true, and those that are in charge of this grand illusion that we're living in, the uh, sentient world simulation and, and the uh, military-industrial complex and the battlefield being the brain, I'm one of the people exposing it. It's massive. And people can change sides, apparently, going from the evil or dark side to the truth and, and light and revelation of this, this whole complex battle that we're in. So how about that? How do you fit into it? I, I don't exactly know who you are listening to this, watching this. So the research library I've compiled covers the truth about all of this and 
I continually add to the library around the clock and and also there's censorship going on where documentation is being removed from my platform or the platforms that I'm on from my library because of channels being taken down or videos being removed. Some of the videos that I have featured have very few views in this edition of them because what's happened is there's a lot of uh, censorship going on. Some of the channels that have had videos with millions of views have been taken down. So now the, the channel that featured or mirrored the video may not have very many subscribers and uh, therefore not very many likes. However, the material is still valid. And because I'm exposing the truth about everything, I'm, in, I'm exposing the deception about it all. And how does that fit together? Well, in a very intricate and convoluted manner, that's for sure. So when you control the food and the information and the flow of money that's created out of thin air, you can control the population of the whole world. How about that? And there are non-compliant individuals like myself that are threatened, intimidated, not intimidated that much. They attempt to. I'm going to lift this up a little bit. I'm going to keep it on the, um, the wide angle view. The sun is appearing right there in the middle of the view. Maybe you can see that. It'll be real noticeable in just a little bit. One of the important realities is we live on a stationary level plane, meaning that we don't live on a spinning, wobbling, gyrating globe with um, contradictory movements, motions that have never been proven. And it's really unpopular. Oh, well, the truth is really unpopular because the truth isn't based on popular opinion. It's not popular, nor is it an opinion. It's simply the reality. Sometimes people will call me with ridiculous questions, the truth about whether their partner is being faithful to them. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. You're going to have to work that out yourself. What I would say is that it's extremely important to have divine intervention. God's grace is required to love and believe the truth, let alone find it. So the Almighty is all-powerful and all-knowing, which is way more than artificial intelligence, so-called. The name of my channel is Truth. I've been born again. The Holy Spirit that spoke this world into existence lives in and through me and all of his children that are actually born again now. So it's a battle between good and evil. How do you fit into that picture? Like I said, I, I don't know how you fit into it. What, what happened with me is I thought I was born again until I actually was. I, I had believed I was born again in 1982 until I actually was in 2014. I elaborate on that quite a bit. It's really important because there's people spreading Jesus all over what they believe to be true. And uh, I know it's not true. I know it's not biblical, nor is it reality, which I believe is synonymous. The Bible exposes the truth about the grand illusion that we live in. So I listen to God's Word day and night, meditate on Scripture day and night as well. It 
it's actually really important. So some people would say, yeah, stop focusing on all the conspiracies and just proclaim the gospel. Well, the problem with just doing that is that I'm not, I wouldn't be fulfilling my purpose, my mission. As Ephesians, Paul's letter to the Ephesians talks about, have nothing to do with the deeds of darkness, but expose them. We shouldn't be ignorant to the uh, weapons in the battle that we're in, the weapons that are being used by both families, the elect angels, the fallen angels, the Holy Spirit, the spirit of Satan, or the spirit that's at work in those who are disobedient. So a lot of times people will uh, pick their beliefs or choose to believe what they want to believe because of their appetite. Well, maybe they've got bad taste. Maybe they need to have an upgrade. So if there's an uh, obvious belief in, or a belief in obvious deception or untruths by an individual, how can they love the truth? We're, we're not, those of us that are born of the Spirit are, not, are supposed to be able to determine the truth and not be deceived. So where will you spend forever and why? I ask the same question. I believe it's predetermined. I don't determine where anybody else spends eternity, including myself. It's predetermined by the Almighty. He determined well before we were born or um, lived in this world and asked for help or, or basically rebelled against him. So I continually add to my library because things are removed, information becomes known that I'm able to share. So how long would it take to look at my research library? Long time. If you like videos and you click the like and it's in my playlist, then it will be a liked video in your private liked playlist. I say that because I'm moving things around in my library so quickly that if you like a video, um, it, it may be remove, I may remove it from my library. You may want to look at it, or you may want to have it in a certain order. Some people don't like the order or some of the content in my library. That's certainly your prerogative or their prerogative. So when I say I'm exposing the truth about everything, well, Hopefully the response is, well, I'll be the judge of that, meaning the person looking at it. Will they be able to see it? Because I'm exposing the, the truth and the deception, the truth exposers or the truth tellers and the liars are both there. They're all there for the most part. So I make my phone number publicly available as well as my name. You can run a Google search on me and type my name in, uh, in a search or my phone number and you should find my content all over platforms that I'm on or perhaps will be on or used to be on. You could um, take my research library and send it to Elon Musk if you like. You could tweet it to him if you're on the platform. Apparently he thought enough about the truth that he wanted to have truth GPT because he was convinced that chat GPT was lying. 
I agree. However, I believe that Elon is suppressing the truth as well and censoring. Oh well, we're all entitled to our our beliefs. We're just not entitled to uh, determine what the results are of of our beliefs. In other words, you can ignore the truth. You just can't ignore the consequences of ignoring the truth. So ultimately, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. I believe that God's word is true and all others are suspect. So I think I've covered it pretty good this morning. I don't want to run too long or it'll take really long to upload. So I want to say this is Robert Forsh exposing the truth about everything. Thank you so much for your public and private encouragement. Feel free to reach out anytime. If you think I've missed something or got something wrong, you can uh, call me, you could text me, you could put it in a comment, and you be the judge of what you believe. Of course, the, the big question is, did you get it right? And the more important the question, the more important an accurate answer will be because it matters for eternity. Thank you so much.